Okay, we're uh, building a, putting a scribe on a plasma table. And she kind of wanted to, haven't seen a whole lot of do-it-yourself detailed. Uh, of course, there's a lot of commercial stuff out there. And everything on my table I, I've built so far, so I'm going to continue um, this year will be my is is the uh, slide um, I, oh this piece here will be uh, I need the drill holes for the rods and I'll probably run a set screw in from each side to secure that uh, that rod in there and uh, tomorrow my uh, I got a five inch air cylinder and uh, I'll uh, update when I get that thing mounted on there. See how, I, I think what, what I have to, all I have to do is uh, come up here with a piece that's threaded on the end so, so it'll screw into that. And then the end of the uh, shaft, I, I figure out where it hits this plate here tap and drill I think it's 5 16 or something so uh, this you know this is all be here the cylinder will be uh, up here where my thumb is secured and then let's say these these uh, the, the plate mounts to the uh, to the z-axis and the rods will be going up and down so that's what we have so far. Oh, here's the, I guess the, the, the holder. Um, these two bolts are through bolts. This plate back here is uh, tapped, quarter 20. And I got a slot here. And it tightened it down really tight. Uh, you know, as always, all this stuff's some weird uh, sizes. I think that was uh, 630 thousandths. So I drilled it out 5 eighths. Actually, I used an end mill on that half inch and then went with the 5 eighths inch end mill. And I happened to find a, a reamer that was. Uh, Uh, what was it? Six thirty-nine. So it's ten, ten thousandths over about. <clears throat> but uh, clamped in there with no, no trouble. Okay, I'm gonna. If I can keep going here. I gotta drill the two holes for the rods, three inches apart, eight millimeter deep or <clears throat> diameter. Like I said, I'm gonna run set screws in from both sides to secure them. And uh, we'll have a working slide. Till next time.